Welcome to the special vectors instructional video. So far we've learned what vectors are, how to make them, we've also learned a little bit about functions. Well it turns out there are functions to make vectors that are really useful. So let's think about the problem of making a sequence of numbers. Let's say I want to make an object called x that consists of the sequence of numbers from 0 to 10. Well one way to make that would be to just type it all in. So I could combine the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on all the way to 10. Turns out there's a faster way to do that. So if you just type in a 0 colon 10, that will create a sequence of integers starting at 0 and going all the way to 10 um, being incremented by 1. So if I print x, we see that it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 10. Another way to create a sequence of numbers in R is the sequence function. So let's make an object y, and the sequence function is seq. I'll put, type in some parentheses, and here you type in the first argument is where you want to start. So let's start at 0, and the second argument is where you want to end. Let's end at 10. And if you type in an argument by by equals, then you can control the incrementing of your vector. So if I said by 1, then we'd start at 0 and increment by 1 all the way to 10. So y would be exactly the same as x. Okay, well we could also increment by 2. So that y is now 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Another way to use the sequence function is to specify the length of the vector that you want to get out. So let's make a an object z that's a sequence from 0 to 10. And instead of specifying the by argument, there's an argument length dot out. So let's say I want to use some finer increments, uh, but I want this vector to be say of length 40. Well now I've got this vector z that starts at 0 and goes all the way to 10 and has length 40. Great. So the last type of special vector that I'll mention is a vector that consists of something else that's just being repeated. So we can create something w and there's this rep function which will repeat whatever you get it, give it. So let's give it the object x. And I want to repeat x twice. So looking at w, you can see that we've got x here, 0 all the way to 10, being repeated twice. So there's the first time and there's the second time. Another way to use this rep function is to repeat elements in something. Rather than the entire vector being repeated, we could repeat, say, the first element some number of times, 0, 0 for example, and then the second element. And the way you do that is by again just changing the argument structure. So I'm still going to be repeating x, but if I type in each equals 2, now I'm going to repeat each element in x twice rather than just repeating the entire object x twice. So let's see what this w looks like. Well we've got 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, which is exactly what we wanted.